Singapore teachers are among the world's most active users of AI in education, with around three in four using it to teach or support student learning. The nation also has one of the highest adoption rates for online and hybrid teaching. That's according to the latest Teaching and Learning International survey of 55 education systems around the world. Tools used by teachers range from those issued by the Education Ministry to commercially developed ones like ChatGPT. The main users of AI are focused towards learning, such as developing lesson plans or generating feedback. Among the least used functions is assessing student work. We know generative AI is just emerged, but yet they are able to take in AI into their teaching approaches. They are also using it to improve the productivity of their work and to analyse how the students are learning. And this is a very important thing for us because our teaching force, the quality, affects actually how our students will be learning and being prepared for the fast uh, changing world. Even with tech on their side, Singapore teachers are still clocking six more hours a week than the global average of 41. But despite the longer grind, they're staying put. Retention has held steady for six years. Chloe Teo with the details. Every teacher knows the struggle of collecting parental consent forms. But one school in Bukit Batok has managed to streamline this tedious process thanks to AI. What teachers need is time. So AI does help to cut down on some of the repetitive work that the teacher used to do in the past. With AI, we can craft out the, the letter quite quickly using AI, whatever uh, things that we tell the AI to nuance the messaging. And after we have done the, the letter, we give out to the student and the student uh, through parents' gateway and the parents give consent. And after the parents give consent, all the teachers would have to do is to check who has not given via the platform. It's one of the nationwide efforts to help reduce an already heavy load on teachers. But a recent survey found that despite shorter classroom hours, teachers in Singapore are still working more hours than their global peers. So where are these hours going? A survey amongst 3,500 educators in Singapore showed that the bulk of their time is being spent on out-of-classroom tasks, such as preparing lesson plans and facilitating co-curricular activities. Marking and correcting student work averages six hours a week, showing a slight decrease over the years. But despite technological advancements, time spent on administrative work has not changed since 2018 at four hours per week. The Education Ministry explains that it takes time and effort for teachers to learn new tools and integrate these into their work. Some of these tasks have also been flagged in the survey as major stresses for these educators. The Education Ministry says stress is unavoidable at every workplace and it is unrealistic to eliminate it completely. But it will continue to equip staff with the tools to thrive. We are committed to ensuring that the teaching profession remains attractive and rewarding for experienced educators who are seeking growth, as well as new graduates and mid-careers. Growing and sustaining a high-quality teaching force underpins the quality education that all our students deserve and need. Despite these challenges, teachers are staying the cause. Only 29% of respondents reported wanting to leave the profession, a stable figure since 2018. Personal reasons or family commitments were amongst the top factors for such a choice. Staff also noted stronger public endorsement, with a majority indicating that the profession is valued by society. More than half feel valued by policymakers. 